All right, I feel like it's been a while since I've recorded a clip, but uh, 96 Hunter, this guy's gonna ruin my uh, my level up message screen. Anyway, uh, three levels to go. It's going really, really fast now. Uh, except, oh God, one mil XP till uh, till 97. That's gonna take a while, but no worries. I'm actually kind of enjoying this right now. Also, small little pro tip because obviously you get more Guams than anything else. You can actually just uh, do like that. Just uh, note them at the tool leprechaun, clean them. One thing I don't even think I've shown, even in last video, is the seed box. Uh, I've been doing quite a bit of farm runs, not as many as I wanted to. Uh, but last video, I ended with towards the higher amount of 500 seeds, and now I've got about 380 left. So, farmed about 200 or so, uh, more or less. I wanted to do more than that. I'm not doing them like every 80 minutes as I thought I would, but uh, yeah, here's the, here's the looting bag right now. It's looking pretty damn good. 72 mil. A lot of that is from the Raynars and the Snapdragons, uh, which I don't even think I'm ever going to use that many of either, but they are kind of sacred, so definitely not going to use them for XP. Alright, I'm fairly certain I'm going to get a level from just cleaning herbs here, uh, unless it's not enough. 56. Um, yep, that's going to be enough. Nice. There we go, 81 herb lore. That's a pretty important level too. Hey, there we go, 97 hunter. Only two more levels to go. The two biggest levels, of course, but we'll get through it. Oh, that is really nice. I kind of, uh, kind of passed that a bit. 15k XP over 200 mil XP, which is by far the most I've had on any account ever. So I've never really done this before. I'm guessing you just clean these. I mean, I think I'm doing it right. All right, managed to finish it off. 225 kudos. We're now at max, and we got a ton of Herblore XP from that. That's a bunch of free Herblore XP. That's like 120k in like 10 minutes or something. So really wanted to get that done. That's another little completionist thing as well. So yeah, a lot of Herblore XP that I didn't have to struggle for. Oh, the motivation's gonna be so high now. 98 Hunter, only one level to go. 1.227 mil XP to go. Let's finish this off. All right, okay, looks like I was right about that. 82 herb lore before I finished off 99 Hunter. So I can now officially build the ornate pool, but I will wait with that. I'm not gonna bother just doing a plus five boost when I'm gonna get my herb lore a lot higher when I'm done with all this. And a uh, little over, well, actually a little less than 500K to go. So let's finish it off. Like I think I already said, let's finish it off anyway. Let's finish it off three times. So I've come to a small realization. There's no way I have enough time to finish off the seeds. I'm 100k away from 99 right now. And there's no way I have enough time to farm up 73 seeds in one trip. So I guess I'm just going to do some agility after I'm done with 99. And I'll finish off the seeds that way. I also have to farm the irits. So yeah, I might as well just do a ton of agility after I'm done with this. All right, it comes to an end here. I'm not going to bother calling anyone over. It's a bit late right now. And I don't know. I'm just going to get it alone. Uh, 99 Hunter finishes here. The last herbivore. Probably not the last herbivore because I still have, uh, I still have staminas left to go. Um, but yeah, the last one for 99. Here we go. The suspense. 99 Hunter, there we go. We're done with this skill forever. Unless I decide to get chins for like armor Sarah or something, but not exactly on my to-do list. So yeah, I'm gonna get, I don't know, like 60K extra XP with the, uh, with the staminas or something. We finished off 3,945 herbivores harvested. All right, here we go. Let's uh, let's get the cape. I swear I wear this armor every single 99. I'm just starting to make it a trend. I'll probably continue it uh, for every single 99. And uh, yeah, sick cape. Every single 99 I get is also a first for me, except for woodcutting, which I had 99 pre-EOC. But hunter, definitely a new one for me. Never thought I'd get uh, 99 hunter. Uh, it was just never in the realm of possibility. I used to really hate the skill when I first started the account, but hopefully I don't misclick two on my keyboard when I use the teleport, because, I mean, I assume it has a warning, but I don't know. Damn, the uh, the cape rack is starting to fill up pretty nicely now. That was uh, 99 number six. Also, this is the final bag. Um, this isn't necessarily completed, because I haven't finished all my farm runs, but 2,000 quorums exactly. If you remember last video, we got uh, 2,000 limps as well, so... Yeah, that actually worked out pretty perfectly. A little over 2k guams as well. A ton of really nice herbs. I'm still going to be farming the toad flax and the irits, so yeah, this will fill up a little bit more. So let's go do some agility, and then after we do a bunch of farm runs, I will do like one final bag check with basically everything. So I decided to whip up a pretty quick Excel spreadsheet for all the herbs that I'm going to use, and it's actually kind of surprising. 
Um, I lowballed the irets and the toad flax. I'm expecting a little over that, but I decided, you know, just to just to be a little bit safe with it. And not using dwarf weeds, which suck. Uh, suck to get the secondaries for. The Torstols I want to use for bossing. Zami Brews are really good as an ultimate. And Snapdragons, obviously they're pretty damn sacred. You don't want to use those for XP. Uh, the Raynars will be used during Slayer. 88 Herblore. That is actually pretty damn huge. I should be... If not front page, I will be pretty damn close to front page herblor when I'm done with all that. So that just goes to show, like, I'll have a pretty damn high herblor level for the mode, and 90 would be really, really sick for raids, except I'm just gonna... I don't know, I, I don't expect to get 90 anytime soon, and it's not exactly a necessity for raids, it would just be really cool, so... Yeah, really happy with that, I was expecting like 85, maybe 86, but... Yeah, that completely blew my mind. What the fuck am I wearing? <laughs> hey, there we go. Christmas event done. I'm gonna explain why I did that in just a second. So I really wanted to put all these sets in my little treasure box in the uh, in the player-owned house. I don't know. I just really like doing small completionist things like that. Having the uh, having the sets in my house. I don't know. I just like it. So. Uh, that's only one of the reasons why I did the Christmas event, the main one. Alright, if you remember this, you're probably a pretty long time viewer. So I got the spectacles about seven months ago, I think, on the second to last Hoarders episode. Not the last one, because I'm still working on that finale, by the way. Uh, but I finally got the party hat. I've been waiting like seven months for a Christmas event. Not really like actively waiting, but it was just kind of a side thing. And I finally got the blue party hat, so I can attach it to the spectacles. I will be right back. Hey, there we go. It looks so sick, man. I love these. All right, and these are storable as well, so, you know, I didn't really lose out on, uh, on taking out the spectacles or anything, and these should be around... Yep, there they are. Halfway. All right, here comes the first agility of... Honestly, I don't know how many. Uh, I could be here till 90. I could be here maybe even till 91. Obviously, I'll go to Artie Course once I hit 90. Uh, but I don't really know how long the farming is going to take me in relation to agility levels, so we'll just have to see. I got another random medium clue. This keeps happening to me. I mean, I'm not complaining at all. It's kind of cool. Oh, that's actually nice. Storable. If you get something storable, it's a good clue. That's just rule of thumb. All right, there's the last Toad Flax harvest. Let's go see how many we have in total. 3,379 nests that I need to get for that. That's going to be disgusting. It just keeps happening to me. I, I, I actually don't know what's, what's going on, but I love it. I love the medium clues. Keep them coming. Who even grinds ranger boots anymore? Uh, I'll take it. All right, here we go. 89 agility. Actually a pretty nice level. Check this out. Um, with that level, Hard Revenant Cave Shortcut, I actually have access to every single shortcut in the game now. That was the last one that was added recently, and I can now do every single shortcut in the game. Obviously, I'm never going to use that one, but I don't know, kind of cool. Damn it, I missed it. 90 agility, that's a sick level. That, that honestly, it looks so good now. Next to the 90 smithing and stuff, that's the... Uh, the 16th 90 skill on the account? I'm just taking a guess, I think. Um... That is pretty nice. That is pretty damn nice. I can now go to the best course in the game. That's the most important thing, obviously. And uh, I don't think I get any more unlocks until 99, which really sucks. But best course in the game. Can't complain, honestly. I also have the Arty Elite, so I'll get so many marks on that course. That's definitely worth going to instantly. Uh, not that I wouldn't have gone to it instantly if I didn't have the diary, but just saying, man. All right, here we go. I did end up getting 91 agility, so 2120 total getting up there. Um, and that is going to be the last level I get. These are actually Aventos in my inventory, by the way. I finished farming the Irits, so I'm not going to bother farming the rest of these Aventos. I'm going to get more from Slayer. And, uh, oh my god, that is so many marks, dude. 581 marks. I'm going to have nearly 10,000 Amylase to use, so that's really nice. All right, here is the final looting bag check from all the herbivore, all the farming, all the everything. Uh, I did end up lowballing those Irits. 2380, so... Dude, we've got so much Herblore XP in my bag right now. Uh, let's get to it. So this was all the stuff that I had sitting at Zolra while I was doing Herbivores and stuff. I'm just going to organize a ton of this stuff at first, and then I'm going to devise a plan as to how to use all this efficiently. All right, so first things first, I'm going to start with the tar. The tar I got like five months ago from Zolra. It's been taking up a bag space for a long time, and I actually really need bag space. Once I get to Slayer, I'll be getting new items, Hosta, Occult, basically anything that you can name. Uh, so I'm gonna need the space and one thing I want to do is get rid of as many as possible. So 
Tar needs to go. Uh, I'm gonna use that on the Hairlanders and then on the Guams, which I'll use like 1700 Guams or something. All right, unfortunately, that's all the AFK Herblore XP I'm gonna get. Um, I'm gonna be moving on to regular attack pots now. And since the Irits and the Guams share a secondary, I'm just gonna get like 3000 uh, Eyes of Newt and I'm gonna do both of those uh, and then move on to the super energy potions that I have. Oh, this is gonna put a dent in the cash stack. Oh, well, that was actually only a mil. That's not too bad. I've got a lot of money. All right, here we go. The first level, 83 Herblore, 21, 21 total. Hell yeah. Uh, so I can now Botanical Pie for an Ornate Pool. I'm not gonna do that just yet because I have to kill Zora for the 10 Antidotes to even make Antivenoms. So I'm gonna wait until I'm completely finished with all the Herblore before I even go for the Ornate Pool. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna be here a while. All right, that's all the Irits. Next, unfortunately, is one of my least favorite uh, potions to make, the uh, Super Energies. They suck. They actually suck. I'll be right back. I can actually catch one. Uh, for once, I can actually catch one. Dragon Bones, dude, that's so good. I can do my daily bone meal with that. That's so good. That's probably the best thing I could have gotten. Hell yeah. Thank God that is over. One of the worst potions to make is done now. I get to do some of the easy herb lore. The, uh, the noted secondary is only 100k away from 84, so I'll be getting a level pretty soon here. All right, second herb lore, level 84 herb lore, and uh, that is upgraded anti-fire pots. All right, so I finished the super strengths. We are now 36k away from a farming level. So what I'm doing right now is I'm only a few levels away from front page as an ultimate Iron Man, and I just want to grind out some of the easy levels I have so I can, I don't know, just kind of push for the rank. Um, it's been a goal of mine for a while now to get onto front page. I said this last video, but I'm actually very, very close right now. I'm about three, four levels maybe. So, all right, here we go. 88 farming. That's uh, those that one quick round of tithe and we're good to go. Let's move on to crafting. All right, crafting is next. Crafting is actually pretty damn fast. So see you in 55 KXP. All right, 88 crafting, 21, 24 total, getting really close. There's one level left that I can get really easily. I'm only 20k away from 83 construction, so after I finish that, that's gonna be the last easy level I can get, and then I'm just gonna have to push for it with uh, with Herblore. All right, here we go, let's build this. 83 construction, 21, 25 total, that's a total level milestone, and very nice level, because I can actually boost for the Ornate Jewelry Box now, so. All right, so I'm gonna guide you guys through the process of making the anti-fire pots. In case anyone was curious, or if any ultimates are, uh, are wanting to do this, this is how I do it right now. I get a full inventory of the unfinished potions. Uh, also, I have stuff at Zolra, so I definitely want to be full prayer. If I die here, I, I don't have too much at Zolra, but I still have a few items there. Uh, so I don't want to get banged out. I'm just going to get full prayer. Here we go after this not only do we get a pretty clean herb lore level but 21 26 total officially on the front page as long as nothing is moved huge goal of mine finally accomplished i've been at this not actively but definitely at a decent pace for the past month or so uh ever since i really started skilling hardcore i guess all right that's all the anti-fire pots made and uh let's see the herb lore xp 250 kxp until 86 so uh Unfortunately, Catantine pots are actually a lot, well, I wouldn't say a lot worse, but they are definitely worse to make than, uh, than the anti-fires, so this is going to be even more fun than the anti-fire pots. All right, there we go, got the tiny elf crystal. This is what I'm going to be using for the whiteberry secondaries. This is going to be my teleport closest to the uh, whiteberry spawn. It's finally done. All the Catantine pots are used. This was, I want to say like 55, 60 KXP per hour, uh, getting the whiteberry secondaries using the light you teleport. 7k away from 86. I'm gonna go finish that off with something real quick. All right, I got something to finish it off with real quick. 86 Herblore. That's gonna be what I finish off the, uh, at least the majority of the grind with. Uh, I still have to use the Toad Flax, obviously, and there are some Dwarf Weeds and stuff like that, but Stamina Mix, that's a uh, Kandarin Elite requirement that I don't have to boost for anymore. That's cool. I have all the Herblore requirements for all the Diaries now, so I'll probably be completing... Varrock and Karamja ornate pool next video. 
Mm, I don't think I'm going to be starting Slayer next video, unfortunately. I'm going to have a lot of mold to do, so after that, maybe the video after that will be Slayer, and we'll finally get to boss tasks and stuff. Thank you so much for watching once again. Uh, happy New Year, happy holidays. Have a good one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please uh, leave the video a like if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. We got so much support on the last video, man. Thank you so much.